sometimes they put it out right before the end of at the very end of the month the first day of the month is on the weekend yeah if that if it doesn't come out 30th it'll come out on thirds well no pretty soon if it comes out as a toc it'll probably be next tuesday mm-hmm. after the rate and no, i'm gonna wait i mean tuesday and not build anything because i'm gonna build the phantom hell rate because we're gonna need it. They're gonna fuck us somehow. We need it. It, it's known. I mean, Zoe Apollo. If you didn't no, have that didn't. Uh, for the whole raid, you were doing a sets. The a sets weren't that bad. They weren't that bad. They were repetitive. But if you did not have the Zoe Apollo, you were looking at four. I, I was looking at uh, four entries on a, uh, on the. With the small one, the 104, right? The 104 and 106s, right? Or 102s, I forget. Well, I don't but, expect to do the S set anyway, this, the next three raids, because I know they're going to have two targets. They're not worth the money. No. Unless they're giving 10 million points, I am not doing two targets. Oh, they'll still give 10. They'll probably bump it to 10 with those two, but the damage increase would not be worth the money to spend. If it was 10 million points and I could do it for, let's say, 20 coins, I'd do it. That 2 to 1 ratio is kind of what I spend on. I, for would, SF. I only go for one coin per mil. Yeah, but then again, ASETs, you're having the big issue where ASETs, if you're doing, was it one, one ship each time, you're looking at a not a 1 per mil. I was getting about an hour damage for a whole ASET. Oh wow! Like oh, I, I'm still, I'm hour still hour a firm is. believer that I'd be happy if they made it so you've had it. You'd have to have more than two hell rates because one hell rate I sat uh, in the last raid. I use only one and go in, repair it after it dies, and then go in and finish it because uh, I just took my time and all that. And that's what I had to do. Sometimes three. Like repair it again and go, but I uh, I only had two hell rays ready for this raid. I, I got a third out. And I don't feel like I'll need it if I just sit there and do the. I'm I'm not going to do this raid that much because what is the spike good at? It's not good at tanking. Uh. It doesn't have the remote targeting, so it can't be like a following to a tank. Or you're going to be following it like right after a fury. But, I don't know. I think the next thing I'm going to build in eight hours is probably just a Nova Storm shell. Because I have the, well, let's see, what time is my, yeah, it's in four yeah, hours my R&D 30 finishes. So then I'll be able to get 6% off a of blank build time. And then I'll have, what is it? What's the refit boost? Wait, well, you get 6% off uh, for blank? Yeah. At R&D 20, you get 3% off and then, no, it might be 15. R&D 15, I think you get 3% off build time. And then R&D 30, you get another 3. And then oh. you get total of 8% off a of refit time. So it's actually faster to build your blink and then refit it. <laughs> uh, yes. You just kind of manually, you just get really get complicated with managing your shipyard. Yeah. But I'll probably do a blink Nova and then kind of slowly build onto it based on what I see in the work in progress. Mm. And if they actually do... What are you thinking of using it for? Just a tank for the 109. Okay. Yeah, the, the, that, that'd be interesting. I've already got it up to R4 in just, I think, two days. And over the yeah. weekend, I should hit it to R5. I just gotta hit low, loads of 80s. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it needs 142 tier 4 fragments. Did you get a build out that you like for it? Yeah. I think I, I should have already shared it here. But one second. If I had Gale threes, I would go with Gale threes, but I only got Gale twos on me. So, <laughs> if they have the limited store 
or give us more options to get the gales, I'll probably stock up on all of the gales that I can get. Because even a gale one is better than a hail sea. Yeah, I think I found your no, that's the crusader. I found your crusader build. That was the uh, the modification of what you post. Yeah. Let's see. I've almost already got a build just about. Oh crap! Now I'm trying to remember what I put on it. Now, stage battery three over front line. Front line gives fifty percent uh, more damage. And but I don't have that at R fifteen. Let's. Hold on. That sounded like the cat just got into something. Sorry, sorry. I'm... <laughs> That's my thinking sound. No, it was just a drawer. <laughs> oh, I, I, I thought like I was up. Like that, uh. What's it? Like you're just like humming kind of and it makes that crackling sound in your throat. No. I took in a stray over the summer and. Now that we've adopted, it likes to hop all over the table in the washer and get the crap that it shouldn't be in. You know, I like cats. Stand cats it. are fun. They're kind of one of those, you'll sit there, they, they have a short attention span, they want to play for a little bit, then they go sleep. And it's kind of what I like. Dogs, they will sit there and nudge you if you're eating food. This one will too. <laughs> yeah. My cat, she only would bug me when I had milk. Like cereal, I take a little bit of a like a spoonful of milk and put it on the table. She'll lick it up. I finish my bowl of cereal, get a cloth, wipe it off. She looks all happy. I'm really happy. I eat breakfast for you. Oh well, that would explain why my stats were so off from what I was building in Huggies. I didn't have the armor on it. I'll be right back, guys. Alright. And... Change this to a savage. You know what? If the Phantom comes out before this raid, there's no sense in trying to prioritize it other than to just get a blank Phantom built to match your dive time because it's not going to have time to rink it. Yeah. And I don't rink the cargo. It's, it's so much time. Well, no, no, no. well, you'd be better off just putting on whatever engine you wanted on and whatever ablative armor. That's it. Yeah. And then, um, say, like, one... Ale, one or one, you know, one anti-motor or something like that, just to get it out. You'd have to refit mm -hmm. it after, but uh, if you wanted it for VXP, I'll oh, definitely. I'll try to get the full build by VXP. I noticed that really helped with the two that I just did. Yeah, you're looking at three week for that, aren't you, VXP? Uh, something like that. Yeah, because I think it's two yeah, weeks for next raid, isn't it? And then another week after that, it's VXP weekend. Because I would rather have the Nova built in time, like now, and then try to get the Phantom, like a shell of the Phantom out. Because I don't need that. Because that will be ranked in time for this raid, if they put it out before it. But at least I have it out and built and ranked for the, uh, the November raid. Mm. And the Nova Storm I need for the FM in October, because... The, uh, all the changes that are going to happen. Yeah, that's what I'll concentrate on. I'm going to sort um, Nova Storm out, I think. And then the Savage doesn't really need rank. All it's going to get is a turn speed bonus for it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just going to sit in the corner and not really bother me.
Huh, I didn't know they gave the Savage Kodiak deflection. Um, no, I didn't It's got 50 and 30. 50 Assault and 30 Siege. No, I didn't know. Oh hell, what's the, what's the Kodiak got? Kodiak, oh my god, I cannot find anything since they changed all this. No, the Kodiak doesn't have any. Just has the corrosive. That's pretty stupid. The Savage Kodiak has just about as much corrosive resistance as the of the Apollo does. Sixty <laughs> percent. You could have made a decent tank out of that if you could get it fast enough. Yeah. Well. Uh, Tank for that the Legion raid, not this one for the FN. But well, I think it's time for my bed, gents. All right, I'm probably not uh, be too far behind you. Well, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna wait until that repairing's finished. At eight minutes. There's another three more minutes yet, so I won't rush it through. Yeah. But I might as well um, wait for that now, and then my base is fully repaired then. Nice. Ooh, when, when I get up to take her to work in the morning, I can start R15 X, X armor. And that'll be ready for the raid. Nice. And then I gotta go back and finish guy out of the thrusters for some reason and uh, stopped it at R14. Oh, I remember what happened. It was too expensive to do Uranium. multiple in the raid. Yeah. yeah. I didn't find out the uh, the Man of War trick until the last day. I've still got 16, well, 15 days of retros, not counting the uh, R15X and R15G, uh, the uh, thrusters. Five for U armor, five for R armor, and five for RC3. And those are just for mines and a little bit of PvP. Yeah. Well, I got U armor on my punishers, but I doubt going to R R11 through R15 is going to make a difference in the 109. Save me a few seconds repair. <laughs> Let's go a little bit nearer as well. And then it looks like next month I need 35 days. That looks, oh, well, I can fit 35 days in because you get two days or a whole day worth of uh, retro in the FM from the tokens. Because it'll be pretty much all everything that I have on my PvP fleet. Evade armor, strike warhead, and combustion system. <sighs> Slowly getting everything back up. <laughs> That's just it though, isn't it? Yeah. Before I added all this stuff for the uh my PvP fleet, I was almost out of stuff for retro that I needed for fleets. <laughs> I figured I'd add that one in. I think if I can ever get a freaking break, I'd actually be able to retro some of my turrets. Is the... Did they have the frostbite in the turrets? In the I think what? it is. The, the frostbite. I was wondering if they had that in the retro lab. I don't think they do. I don't think so, no. There's a lot of turrets Fire. that's not in that retro lab, actually. Yeah. Huh. Well, maybe I won't do the turrets then. Because <laughs> the only thing I got that would really benefit from a retro would be the scatter gun and that's 50,000 for R1. I 